Being fast in court, having a great court coverage. How do you do it? The key word is anticipation, and that's what we're going to talk about. Before we move on in this video, please visit our website www.basicfeather.com to find your new badminton racket. In many of our videos, we talk about anticipation, but maybe it's not clear what anticipation is. We're gonna give you some exercises and just some examples on the court on how you can improve your anticipation. For some players, this is a more natural thing, a part of their badminton understanding. For some, it isn't. So that's why we're gonna do a video focusing on anticipation so you can improve your game. So the first thing you can do in practicing your anticipation is an exercise we're gonna set up. It's a two against one exercise. The one doing the exercise has a full court. The two feeders are standing side by side and basically it's a full court exercise but with one twist. The feeders can only play the shuttle straight. That means I'm the one doing the exercise. I can play any shot but I know that the shuttle is coming straight from my feeder. So if let's say I jump up, I play a cross court slice, I know that I need to move to the other side of the court and try to cover that one as quick as I can. So it is about placement in this exercise. So what I would not like you to do in, in this two against one exercise is, although you know where the shuttle is coming, that you're just moving to that side automatically. So that means that you're not really moving as you would do in a normal singles. You're just covering the half court. Try to do it as match-like as possible so you can practice that anticipation. So the next thing is about your awareness on court. So it's not an exercise, it's more situation on court. So let's say I'm uh, up at the net and I play a super good lift, putting a lot of pressure on my opponent. He is deep in his uh, forehand corner. Chances are that he can play a cross clear from that situation are pretty small. So mainly he's probably gonna play the straight short one, the cross short one, or the straight long one. That's probably like the three corners that he is likely to play. So I would like you to stay moved maybe a bit towards the straight corner and be ready in that one. And if he placed a beautiful cross court clear from that situation, just accept it. But chances are that he's gonna play one of those three corners. And if you know that, you can cover that much faster. And thereby you feel like that he's playing against a fast player, but it's actually just because you're super good at anticipating where the shuttle is coming. So another situation in, in practicing your awareness on court is if I play a powerful smash, maybe towards the center, towards my opponent's body, I know that likely he or she won't play a long defensive lift. He's probably gonna block it. And he's probably gonna block it just straight, putting his racket on it. So that means if I play that shot, that I just need to rush to the net and try and cover that as fast as I can. Again, it's, it's not 100% that this will happen, but the chances are at least more than 50%, and that's what we're gonna go for. So the last thing I wanna add to this anticipation topic is the split step. A lot of players think that the split step always needs to be done at the center of the court. That's not right. Again, it's about anticipation. So if I play, again, let's use the smash as an example. If I play a straight smash, my anticipation is that it's gonna come towards the net, and maybe it's gonna come straight. So why would I move into the center and then move to the net? I just wanna move straight to the net and that means the split step that I'm doing isn't necessarily at the center of the court. That's completely okay. So I would say it's almost a myth that the split step always should be done at the center of the court. So this video has been focusing on anticipation and anticipation is the key in feeling fast and being fast on court. We have taken you through some exercises, we have taken you through some situations. Now it's your turn to go on court, practice and analyze your game so you become a better badminton player. A lot of badminton players around the world already subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't, please help us subscribe to our channel so we make sure to deliver the best badminton content for you. Oh, 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 oh,